Hi, I'm Kath Olive uh, from Euroa Arboretum and I've been working on the Healthy Hectares program. We have found over a number of years we've got lots and lots of landholders that will come into the nursery and they'll ask us um, a little bit about what they want to do on their properties. But the more we chat to them, the more we realise actually they have quite a big knowledge gap um, when they arrive, on, arrive in the district. Um, and so we've recognised, actually, we really need to do something about this. We really need to, to work at how can we support these small landholders and give them some basic information so that they can make some good decisions on their property. So that's where the start of Healthy Hectares began. And the more we've chatted around different land care groups, we've found that actually it's a broader issue and it's across the Golden Broken and in actual fact, it's probably across a fair whack of Victoria. So this particular funding has been for the Murrindindi Shire. We thought we'd start here as a pilot program. We wanted to create some easily digestible resources. So we thought a website would be ideal so that we had something that people could easily drop in and out of. We wanted to build a little booklet. So that's the booklet that I've got hold of. Um, and then we also wanted to provide some information as an add-on as well so that people had a point of reference that they could come to. So Upper Goulburn Landcare Network have run a Learning with Landcare Day, which is like a brief snapshot. It's just a short little punchy half day where we cover um, a bit on weeds, a bit on property planning, a little bit on fire, animal care as well. So we've done that as a brief little snapshot. It doesn't allow a lot of opportunity for people to be asking questions or getting into more detail. So then we've come up with a Healthy Heck Test series, and that's a series of five workshops. They're still quite short, so they're still only four hours. We've covered um, property planning and animal health. We've covered soils and pastures. We've covered water um, and how to get water around your property and looking at it from an environmental perspective as well. And today we've covered... Um, biodiversity, how to get vegetation back onto your property, where are your hot spots for, for, for wildlife. The last session will be on pest animals and pest plant. They're still quite short. They're still not the same commitment that you would have to make if it's a whole farm planning course, which is a longer session again. And people have been able to pick it up or drop it off. They don't have to do the whole series. So yeah, we're hoping just to create this resource. It's a neat package that people can um, ask some direct questions about their properties. We don't have to go to the effort of visiting every single person, so it still creates a, a broader resource, I guess, for people across the catchment that's not as intensive as a site visit for every single person. The community groups that have been involved have been the Upper Goulburn Lane Care Network. We've worked with the Murrindindi Shire. We've worked with SICA, uh, which is a community adult education group. We've got Iroa Arboretum, Victorian Government Department. So we've had input from them. Um, we've had input from CMA, the Golden Broken CMA with their waterway staff. We've had input from the CMA with their soil health staff. Pretty much all of the land care networks across the Golden Broken now to try and make this not just Murrindindi specific, but Golden Broken specific. I think what's worked well has actually been that development of the booklet. We've had some really positive responses back from Shire staff, from land care coordinators. We're getting some nice responses back as well from landholders. The overall package, I think, is quite a nice package now that we've developed that we can then start expanding and working in other areas. So I think that's a positive. What hasn't worked well, we've done a massive mail out for the Murrindindi Shire. We, we mailed out to 1,700 landholders that, which outlined that there was a booklet available, there was a website available, there was a course available. Of those 1,700 landholders, they were between 2 and 40 hectares, so we screened who we were sending that out to. But I'm quite intrigued that we haven't necessarily been overwhelmed by that particular demographic. So we were really lucky to work with Mary Trigger. 
Mary's done a whole stack of different booklets on land for wildlife and working with different councils um, and she was terrific to work with. So she pretty much researched and wrote every chapter and she would send it to me to proofread and then I would find the most appropriate local person that I could think of to then send it off for their comments as well. So the booklet pretty much covers what we cover in our courses as well but just with some basic details. We've got planning, soil, water, biodiversity, pests and pasture. So it's actually got its own website now, which is um, healthyhectares.org.au, and we're looking at continuing to build that. So that's essentially got the booklet online, but what we're working on at this point in time with our next batch of funding is to have it quite specific for each different area. So rather than trying to have the booklet universally appropriate for every single area, we're looking at having it general, but then having more detail for specific locations across the, across the catchment.